Hi guys, this is Sweet Pods Thrift in my next thrifting haul. Um, as you can see, I have a lot to show you. So this is going to be a long video. I even have stuff on the floor. Um, so it might be split up into two videos. I'm not sure yet. So we'll see where this takes us. But I guess I'll start with the clothes. So most of them came from garage sales and the Goodwill outlet. So the stuff at the Goodwill outlet, again, by weight, it's, a, I believe, $1.99 a pound. So most of the clothes I got ended up being a dollar each. So I'll start with the tops and dresses. So the first one, I got this cute rosette, sort of purple and black um, dress. It's by Max and Cleo, if you can see that. But I got that. I got this cute Morona. It's a sort of a cutout. Let me see if I can show you the details on it. It's not really coming out, but you see a little bit of it on the arms right here. So it has a little bit of a cutout. So I got that. I got this uh, little um, corset for strapless dresses by Victoria's Secret. Um, I got this cute tank. It's a Hollister. It says 100% mermaid. I got this sweater tank from Nike. This was a cool find. I managed to find a Michael Kors cardigan. It's a mustard yellow and white and I got that for a dollar. This came from a garage sale. It's a Giants jersey with a little American flag in the lettering. I asked how much was it? The guy said all the clothes are 25 cents. So I got this for 25 cents. There was a slight um, a separation of the seam on one of these so I actually repaired it but for 25 cents that's a fantastic deal. This pink neon orange shirt uh, I got at a garage sale for two dollars and it looks brand new. I got two men's shirts. One is a North Face button up, as you can see right here. And the other one is a Columbia men's shirt. This is more of a grayish color. You can see it better here. But I got those each for a dollar. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I just posted this yesterday. I love the movie and the series, so when I found this shirt, Picked it up immediately. Jurassic Park. So I got that. Just a simple v-neck t-shirt black. I managed to find another Michael Kors. But this is like a geometric blouse. So I got that one. I got this weird uh, Hollister sweater. It has all these little lace patterns in it. But my mom likes wearing that weird kind of stuff. So I thought I'd give that to her. This is another sweater. It says Us Versus Them. And it is made by Us Versus Them, which I've never heard of, but I thought the sweater looked cool. I found a Hurley green sweater. Winter is coming, so, or it's here. So, better stock up on all the sweaters. This was pretty interesting. I found a Versace Sport tank. And I found two jackets. One's in Adidas. And the other one is the Steo. It has like a, a down feather uh, insulation. So I got that. I found this Nike t-shirt. And lastly on the shirts and sweaters is this cute little bunny shirt that I got from the Goodwill outlet. So moving on, let me do a few hats. So. At a garage sale, I found this Reebok hat. It was for free, so can't beat free, so I got that. And another free is this hat. I actually am thinking about doing an Indiana Jones Halloween outfit because of this hat, so I'll see where that takes me. And lastly is this diamond little uh, hat. Got that at the Goodwill outlet for a dollar. 
And last of the clothes are the pants and skirts. So I got this marble leggings. Got just uh, skinny jeans, old navy brown. I got this Forever 21 skirt, polka dot skirt. Thought that would be cute at a party. And this is a Zara, sort of like a suede feel skirt with two pockets. I found in Adidas uh, little jogging pants. These, I, I don't know who made them, but it says 1991, but I like these. Sort of like an old design jean, like acid wash. So I got those. I found this Michael Kors jeans. So I got those. And I got another cute, sort of like an alligator print uh, skirt. Uh, it's made by Mac and Jack. Never heard of them either, but again, a cute skirt. And lastly are these page pants, which I, again, I've never heard of page, but when I looked it up, they're very expensive, so not bad for a dollar at the Goodwill outlet. So next I'm going to move on to the bags. So at a garage sale, to start off with the purses, I'll start with these guys. Um, at a garage sale, I found these three purses, each of them, the lady said she only wanted $2 a piece. So I found this Cynthia Rowley. It looks pretty much brand new. So I got that. I have these little coach little tags too that I found. So I got that. This actually came with its original dust bag. So I got that. Here's the second one. Is this coach. Again, it has minor wear. There's a few little, uh, like this line here. There's... It's not in perfect shape, but for $2, I mean, you can't beat that. And that comes with its own dust bag. And lastly was this pink, hot pink and pink uh, shoulder bag, Coach again. But again, the only thing was these little oil drops on it. But $6 for those three is not bad at all. So... Most of the rest come from the Goodwill outlet. Again, averaging out to be a dollar each. So first one is this Victoria's Secret tote with uh, its original tag. So you see that. I found this Harajuku just the other day when they're refilling the purse bin. And with the Harajuku, I found this Timbuktu laptop case. a few weeks ago I managed to find this Michael Kors shoulder bag with shoulder strap. Uh, the white on the handles is wearing a bit, but again, a dollar. I found a few of these reusable bags, uh, just Lululemon and Athleta, so I got those. I found this purple coach with uh, leather straps at a garage sale for two dollars. I found the Lily Pulitzer in the Google Outlet bins. And these two Kipling came from the Goodwill Outlet as well. So I got that one. And this one. I found this Brahmin uh, bag. I was hoping to find the purse that I came with, but I only found the shoulder strap. So who knows, I might come across one in the future, but I got the shoulder strap for it. And then I found this little Kipling little coin pouch with a little monkey on it. So I got that. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see this posted recently. Uh, it's a Pendleton shoulder bag. Cute little bag. It's pretty nice. This coach wristlet I got at a garage sale, I think for 50 cents. This most machino uh i think it's a cosmetic pouch but i got that at the goodwill outlet this also came from the goodwill outlet it's kate spade but the gold is coming off a bit so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that the inside looks pretty good though so and a few of the last things i found was another coach dust bag 
and this coach sunglass carrier so I got those two I found this fossil bag it's a crossbody bag and it came with its original dust bag and these last two are pretty cool I love vintage coach so another crossbody coach and this cute little Dunia Burke. It's an old uh, style. I know that it comes with its shoulder strap, which I tucked inside it, but pretty, pretty cool. It has the coloring. It used to be white, but now it has a cream color look to it now, but still pretty good condition and it's not bad. And lastly, oh, I think I forgot two more too. Less few found a coach wristlet at the Goodwill outlet. This actually is, it's a coach case, but it actually has one of those Palm Pilots inside it. And I got this for 50 cents at a garage sale. I didn't get the charger for the Palm Pilot, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I'll hold on to it for now. And lastly, lastly is the Lacoste backpack I found with the Harajuku. So a dollar, which is pretty good. It needs a wash for sure, but not bad. So next I'll go through is the jewelry. And after that, video games, which there's a huge video game haul, so stay tuned. So here's the other stuff before I get to the jewelry. I just got some uh, tight, uh, you know, pantyhose. I got this Littman stethoscope at a garage sale for $2. Um, let me show it to you. Right there. Got that. This was a pretty good deal. I saw these at a garage sale. They are sterling handled. Um, they do say sterling. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right there. But it's a carving set. I paid $2 for it, which is pretty good. And what was a pretty good deal were these spoons. As you can see, it says Reed and Barton Sterling. And I checked on the back, they are marked Sterling. I got these four spoons for 25 cents each at a garage sale. And then uh, lastly on the spoons, I got this at the Goodwill outlet. It's marked Italy on the back right here, but I don't know if it's Sterling or not, but it was a pretty cool spoon. I got this cool, I think it's like a, a magnifying glass, but I thought I could use it for my jewelry if I want to look at marks, but it's a pocket viewer, so looks pretty old, but I got that. And this was a fantastic find at the Goodwill outlet. It's not a coach, but I did use, I got that uh, case for these glasses. They are Tory Burch sunglasses, so that was a pretty good find. And on the perfumes, I got these six perfume bottles for $2 all together. And there's different uh, brands, like this one's Versace. Uh, I think this is Calvin Klein. This one's Donna Karen. You have Gucci, uh, Juicy Couture, and Coach. So I got all those for $2. Uh, in no random order, this group of stuff right here... I got at the Goodwill outlet. They just randomly brought out a tub of jewelry and I had second crack at it. So most, I think all these pieces here, they charged me like $3. So I got this Southwestern style bracelet right here. Uh, this one is a sterling and crystal bracelet. This one's a sterling bracelet with various charms. I got some huge coral earrings. This was a single sterling earring with enamel, but it, I never found its match, which a few of these I didn't find the matches for, like these five earrings. I only found one pair of earrings. This actually, this pendant is 10 karat, so I found that. I got this cute bracelet, it's not sterling, but I liked it because of the opal in the center. I found a little sterling bead, a sterling ring. This uh, keychain has a sterling charm at the bottom. 
And I found this crystal, like a vintage crystal bracelet. And this is like a medicine ball necklace, but if you can hear that, it has a little chime and it's on a sterling chain. So I got all those. These I got at a garage sale for $2.50 a piece. So I got this hibiscus sterling anklet, I believe. I got this uh, sterling pendant, a jade bracelet, and a juicy couture bracelet. And this stuff I got at a garage sale. I believe I got with these as well. Um, I think I paid $8 total. But this pin is 10 carat. This stick pin is 10 carat as well with a pearl inside it. I believe this little elephant here is 14 carat. And then I got two Disney, vintage Disney pins because I collect those. Moving on, at the Goodwill store in Berkeley, I managed to find a Miss Me double wrap leather bracelet and a brand new Alex and Ani uh, bangle. So I got that for I believe $3.99 and this for $2.99. These Disney pins came from a garage sale along with these earrings. Uh, I paid $2 for the pins all together and then I paid a dollar for these earrings and they're actually Lagerfeld earrings and they threw in the Tiffany and Company little bag. This stuff here I got on another day to the Goodwill outlet. Again, it's mostly mismatch stuff, but I did manage to find this sterling dolphin bracelet. Uh, a lot of single earrings, but there were some matches. Let me try and detangle them. Um, I got these Moonstone earrings. This is a Marcusite and Sterling Pendant. I got these, they could be Topaz or Aquamarine Sterling uh, earrings. And I got these cute Marcusite drop earrings. I only found one of these Crystal and Sterling earrings. And then I had another pair of Marcusite and Sterling earrings. So those were, I believe, two dollars or a dollar fifty if they charge me for those moving on this was another garage sale they were charging 50 cents a piece for jewelry uh, i found this sterling heart pendant and a swarovski brooch so that was pretty cool this was at another garage sale they wanted five dollars each on jewelry and i managed to find this pearl necklace it has a 14 carat uh clasp and the pearls are authentic and I found a sterling uh, Mexico bangle. This stuff I got from a garage sale. I believe they said just make a handful and we'll give you a price. So I think I paid two dollars for this whole stack or two fifty eventually. But as you can see there's this sterling and possibly aquamarine or blue topaz like tennis bracelet uh there's a few sterling uh brace bracelets right here i had this pair of hibiscus earrings uh there were a few gold pieces so i have all of these right here are 14 karat earrings we have a pair of pearls, a pair of studs, and these little wave-like earrings. The rest are sterling. These three don't have a match. I got a sterling necklace. This is a gold charm. I don't know which, what kind of gold it is, if it's 10 carat or 14 carat or what, because it's not marked, but I am for sure it's gold. And then here's another sterling earring. Here's another mismatched sterling earring. And then I found an origami owl uh, keychain and another coach tag. So that was that. This was part of the 
huge video game find I found recently. Uh, I found these pieces in a box. I asked how much is the jewelry. They said 50 cents a piece. So I got these pieces for $2. These are sterling. This is 14 karat gold. So not bad. But you'll see the video game finds that I found with them. And one of the few pieces on the jewelry left, I got this sterling necklace for 50 cents, I believe, at a garage sale. And these three, I paid $7 at a garage sale. I found these late in the day. So it was in a jewelry box, but no one opened one of the drawers, and these were in it. So one of them is a, I believe, a sterling uh, clasp, which is these ones. And this actually is Mikimoto uh, necklace. The, the clasp is really nice on that one. And the other two, one's a 10 karat and one's a 14 karat clasp. And all these are authentic pearls again. So that was really good. And on the watches, I found a Skagen watch and this stamp watch. So I got each of those for, I believe, 50 cents each. And on the belt finds, I found this one. It's like a hand-tooled uh, belt. But what I saw were these uh, metal pieces, which are sterling. It's marked sterling right in there. But the belt buckle was missing. It was actually replaced with this. So it cost a dollar at a garage sale. And at the Goodwill outlet, I managed to find this belt. It's an American Eagle leather belt. And with it, I found this coach belt, which again was only probably 50 cents or a dollar. So lastly is the video games. So if you can see this, you can tell how big this video game haul is about to be. But let me get to some stuff before the video games. So quickly, I got these Polaroids film. They're for free. Don't know if they work. I got this book based on the movie, so I got that. I got this little Guitar Hero, little DS video game. I got this Magellan GPS. And so I believe I'll start in the video games. So first, at the thrift store, or grad sale, I got this little uh, receiver. It's for a PS2 remote, but ne never managed to find the remote. So I got that. I got this Double Dragon uh, for Game Boy. I got these games are 50 cents each. It turns out to be two Xbox 360 games, Battlefield 2 and Ultimate Alliance. And I got Teen Titans. These came from a garage sale, it's Family Guy and Resident Evil 4. This came from another garage sale, I believe they're 25 cents each for these ones. So Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy X2. And from another garage sale, the guy was charging two dollars each i don't think he brought these video games out till very late in the day because they're still there so i got parasite eve resident evil director's cut fear effect 2 final fantasy 9 final fantasy 7 and battle arena toshiden so i got those all for ten dollars and from lastly from the goodwill outlet is this xbox original xbox with a controller got for five dollars so the rest of the stuff i got at one garage sale so let me set it up for you guys so i came to this garage sale very late in the day maybe 11 30 and i couldn't believe that all of this was there so what happened is they had boxes upon boxes in their driveway like you had to dig in this garage sale so we went there me and my family and upon five minutes of being there i came across this box so i immediately saw this and i'm like oh my god so i asked immediately how much is the nintendo stuff they said they have to have to get ten dollars for it i said in my mind i was screaming i was like i told them deal and they said you know what there's some more games that go with that so at first it came with like five games with it and they're like oh it, they're right there so five more games came with it. So 10 games total with the working system. There's the system right there. You can 
see it right there. It comes with all its cords. It comes with uh, first this controller, the original Nintendo controller. And I'll tell you the games. You got Home Alone, Earthworm Jim 2, Turtles 4, Space Invaders, Pitfall, Donkey Kong Country, Earthworm Jim 2, Super Mario World, and a Monopoly. So they're like, I was like, do you have any more video games? And they're like, oh yeah, we have two Game Gears. And they're right over there. And what they showed me was two of these bags. And I was like, "Is are they in there? And they're like, yeah. I was like, how much for those? And they're like, $10 each. But we don't think they're working. Which it did turn out, they don't work. I'm only showing you one here because I did sell the other one. Uh... So both of them don't work. This one, the sound works. It's the picture that's not coming through at all. But all the accessories are with it. You have the battery pack, you have the magnifier, you have the charging cable, you have the car adapter, you have the cord to go from Game Gear to Game Gear, you have the, uh, the strap, the wrist strap. It came with the paper. It came with two extra battery packs still in the box, two extra cleaning gears, carrying case, an extra uh, charging uh, cord, and it came with about 54 games. And all of these games came with their original manual. So I'm going to browse through them real quick. So you got Tasmania. Green Dog, Solitaire, Home Alone, Chuck Rock 2, Tales, Adventure, Aladdin, Dr. Robotniks, Haley Wars, Echo the Dolphin, Chuck Rock, Lemmings, uh, Deep Duck, Trouble, Batman Returns, NFL 95, uh, Super Monaco, Sonic 2 and Sonic Tales, Sonic Chaos, Jurassic Park, World Series Baseball, Shining Force, Ren and Stimpy, Streets of Rage 2, Aerial Assault, Defenders of Oasis, Wimbledon, Shinobi, Sonic Spinball, Solitaire Poker, Clutch Hitter, Tom and Jerry, Ariel, Shinobi 2, uh, Scratch Golf, The Majors, uh, Axe Battler, Tailspin, Putt Putter, uh, Bubble Bobble, uh, cool, cool, cool Spot, Surf Ninjas, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, Triple Trouble, Land of Illusion, Sonic the Hedgehog, Lion King, Poker, X-Men, Vander Holyfield's Boxing, G-Lock, uh, Desert Speed Trap, Blackjack, Power Rangers, Psychic World, World Series Baseball, and Streets of Rage, the original. So each of those systems, they want $10. I spent $30 there. And I sold one of these uh, for $20. So... Basically, I only spent $10 on all of this stuff. So, hope you guys like my haul. Thanks. Oh, and lastly, I forgot, at the same place I got the video games, I found these uh, Nike Air Jordans, uh, $1.50. So I got those. Another garage sale, I found these uh, Clarks for a dollar. Okay, thanks for watching.